In an earlier video, I showed how you can quickly create cost reports with the Vico Office Report Editor, and we created the cost report that used the assembly component structure, and we also had one that uh, included the cost by location using the locations defined with the LBS Manager. Now, using the tags that we looked at in the previous video, you can also create a categorized cost report. And uh, the categorized cost report can be based on any tag. Examples are cost type or, say, a CSI, unif or CSI master format division. Um, in this video, I will uh, show you how to do that with a standard template, and you can download that standard template from the website. I will use the tags and tag values that I defined and assigned in the previous video to create a categorized cost report with the Vico Office Report Editor. A feature of the report editor is grouping, which allows me to group data based on any property of components, and I will use that to group based on CSI master format divisions. In the previous video, I assigned these tag values uh, to the components on the fifth level of, uh, of my cost plan. Uh, so this is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 and level 5 and I will filter out those components on level 5 uh, to show only those components in the report that have a tag value assigned. So let's go into the report editor. I select the create reports workflow item. I have imported the report template that's available from the website uh, by clicking the import template button in the ribbon and that button becomes available when you select a category uh, in your report editor. So let's take a closer look at that report before we generate it. I right click and select the edit uh, to start the report editor. So we're in the report designer, the report editor, and this is the template that we will use uh, that you loaded in the, uh, in the create report view and there's two things that I would like to point out here. Uh, first one is I filtered the components that I assigned a tag value to make sure that only those are included in my report and I did that with a filter string and the filter string uses node level equals 5 as a condition. Then the second thing is the grouping and that is done using the group header band uh, so I inserted a group header band in my report template and for that group header band, I select a group field, and uh, the group fields are in this list, so I add a grouping criteria, and from the list of component properties, I then select tag values, and as you can see here, the CSI master format divisions tag that I defined and assigned tag values in uh, is in this list. So I select that, click OK, and uh, I save the report and now we can generate the report to see what that looks like. Now to generate the report I right click on the report name and select generate and that provides a preview of our cost report and as you can see I've got my 03 concrete division with the total for the group and all of the line items that have been assigned uh, that tag value. In this video, I used the report editor to create a categorized cost report using the CSI master format tag values that were assigned to components in the previous video. To create the categories, I used the report editor's grouping functionality.